I get my final veneers. Thank you! It's gonna be literally epic. It's the dinner party of my dreams. Kind of like back and forth focusing on photography and then like the influencer stuff. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. My name is Sonali, if you guys are new here. And it is currently Monday morning at 8 a.m. And I'm about to meet a friend to take a couple photos for socials. I like to do this like every other week, I would say, and just kind of like batch shoot content. But I feel like photos aren't even like a thing anymore. I feel like it's more reels, but I'm really trying to get my feed to like where it used to be and just make my feed really aesthetic so that means having to still take photos to like post on the real covers um so if you guys are interested in kind of like watching the journey at my feed you can follow me on instagram it's so underscore gnarly without the g um but i'm in this really pretty brown dress it's like very fancy though i went with a slick back bun because my hair was greasy and it worked out because i didn't really have to spend much time on my hair this morning i am renting this off of fashion pass and that's another reason why i wanted to take photos today so i can get all my fashion pass stuff returned today and then I'm not sure when I'm able to pick out the new stuff I don't know if I have to like wait until you know they receive my package or if I can just start picking it out right when I return it ready to take some pics I, I feel so. like very I uncomfortable because I'm like literally in a gown but it's okay we're gonna do it quick get our pics how many outfits did you have I don't know. Okay. I was running late this morning, like I always am. So Nelly is just very sweet and like <laughs> puts up with me, and I just ground. It's um, okay. I don't even know if it matches, but you know, we'll see what we we'll can go with it. With. We're currently at Taverna because they have like a little cute, little neutral background. So let's do it. We just got done taking selfies. Oh, I feel like we got some good ones. I'm wearing huge heels. I'm not <laughs> yeah. that tall, but I hope we got good ones. Yeah. We were quick, we were efficient, I'm proud of us. I already stained my shirt, but I feel like I'm gonna live in the shirt. Um, so sorry if you get sick of seeing it. <laughs> but it is 3 p.m. It's been a while since I've been home. Um, I have been so productive and I've been working from the couch, which I always say my most productive days are when I work from my desk, obviously. But I've been amped up, I feel like I have a lot to do and a lot to plan especially for like photography stuff if you guys are new here i am a photographer here in austin and i mainly do like seniors and grads i feel like i like to say i specialize in that but i also do couples families literally anything else but weddings and so i always do holiday minis and those are like a discounted price a little shorter of a time and you can use them for like holiday cards or whatever you really want it's just a good time to get like family photos or couple photos done because the weather's really nice and like we're not all sweating and dying so i'm very excited for fall weather for that reason so if you live in austin and would be possibly interested in doing a fall mini i'm gonna have my photography account right here go ahead and follow that because once i finalize dates and everything i'm gonna be posting a lot on my stories and um in feed so that you guys won't miss that because whenever I do signups, it's like first come, first serve for dates and times. You can bring your dogs, you can bring your kids, husband, whatever. I've also had some girls come alone and just get some nice lifestyle headshots and um, branding photos done then. It's honestly just a really good time to take advantage of that price drop and it's right around the holidays when you probably want all the holiday content. So I've been kind of like back and forth focusing on photography and then like the influencer stuff because I um, needed to reply to a couple like collaborations. These days I'm getting a lot of collaborations through Like To Know It, um, which is kind of crazy because I have been pretty active on Like To Know It for the past year or two, um, and I made it like a priority to really grow my following on there, and these days I'm not amazing about linking my clothes, but since I've been on it for so long, I feel like I have a lot of good like analytics to show to brands, so um, they have like this whole other collaboration platform, which you like have to like log in separately. It's kind of weird um, And the whole thing's not really user-friendly, but <laughs> I feel like I get my most collabs through there like consistently Which is crazy because at three months ago I did not have this collaborations for portal because I remember going to South by Southwest I went to a few like to know events because they are actually headquartered in Dallas so they came here and did like 
cute little event and I'm pretty sure I went to like every single one because I, th I just think it's really cool. I love this like platform that they have. I went and then I was able to talk to like higher ups and um, that's when they were like kind of relaunching their collaborations platform. So anyways, I don't know if that was boring to hear, but <laughs> I actually just got back from FedEx because I did some returns for my fashion pass thing it was so easy i did not realize it actually came with a new bag with like the label already on it i was like wow this is insane when i was opening the package though i was like how am i gonna fit it all back in the package it fits so that's great um but now i'm going to look at an email that the girl that's helping me with my website sent me so basically i think i said this in my last vlog but my photography website is just not the vibe anymore i got it like custom done from a guy on fiverr and i designed it and it's just like i don't even want to talk about it <laughs> like it looks so bad to me now and i got it done like i think right when covid kind of happened um so it's been a while and i just feel like i need something more professional and just like simple honestly like i don't need all the bells and whistles just something to show my portfolio and a contact form so um, Karishma, she's actually a photographer in Dallas. She's helping me with my new website. She said it's gonna be possibly done on October 1st, but I have to like look through this form and just like fill out like a little questionnaire before we like fully deep dive into making my site. So very exciting things happening. Um, and then I have a shoot at 6 p.m. at Maddie's, which is a place I regularly go for shoots when I am with the photographer because um, it's just such a beautiful greenery area. And usually actually I do my holiday minis. I don't know if I'm gonna switch it up or do that place again because it's just like so pretty. Um, so updates to come. I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave for my shoot and I kinda wanna do a little challenge with myself and see if I could get this all cleaned up, like do a quick clean. I just did the dishes. They've been sitting there for quite a while and um, just cleaned up like the kitchen and stuff, which makes me feel so much better because I feel like the kitchen is like the first thing you see when you come into your apartment. And if it's cluttered, then you get like immediately stressed. That's how I feel with my closet right now. So we're gonna fix this because this is just not okay. <laughs> That literally only took six minutes. I was trying to go so fast. Um, but let's unbox some things so that we could like declutter all that. First asked me if they could send me a package and my immediate answer was yes because I knew it was going to come with one of my favorite headbands ever. Let me show you guys. You guys probably like recognize it from my TikToks. I always wear my pink one and it's gotten so dirty. I literally like should throw it in the wash or something, but I got another one. These are like, I don't want to say rare, but like I saw them going on Poshmark for like very expensive and I haven't really seemed to find like a really good Amazon dupe, but something about this headband, I cannot take my makeup off unless I have the first headband. I saw an Instagram ad like a couple times saying like if you place an order over blank amount of dollars, you get a headband for free. So that's where that like iconic headband is from. Um, but also obviously I wanted to try out their products because they had packages that you could choose from. And I think I got the shower package, which I'm always, always looking for more like body oils i go through them a little too fast <laughs> so this is the keep it supple body oil it's a spray on oh, i love spray on ones um this one is an acne control body mist this is the gentle retinol body lotion retinol body lotion what the heck use me if you want a body lotion that repairs more than dryness very interesting i'm Seriously, I I literally need to put on body lotion like a hundred times a day. I cannot stay moisturized, especially on my legs. And because they're dry, I itch them almost like they have bug bites on them, but it's just so 
itchy when it gets dry so i really need to be better about that i usually just like moisturize right after the shower but like that's not cutting it these days this is also from a skincare company i believe and i think they're at sephora but i haven't really heard of this company until they reached out it's called bloom and i also have a discount code for versed products i'll put it up here okay i was looking on their site and this poor clarifying clay mask had really really good reviews i honestly have not tried like a clay mask in so long um or i wonder if it's like the black one you know like the biore one this one is what is this oil for acne prone skin okay so i don't really have acne prone skin but i do like a face oil so that's kind of nice that they made it for that okay this is skin and scar fade serum that's nice because i feel like when i do get like pimples i pick at them and it's so bad but i cannot help it i already unboxed this but i wanted to set it up with you guys i've been waiting because um the pods only came today but this is the click and grow and i'm pretty sure i told you guys about this already but basically i cannot keep <laughs> herb plants alive because if i put it on my balcony they literally dry out because it's so sunny and then i brought it inside and put it on my window seal but same thing like they're drying out and maybe i'm forgetting to water them sometimes but still like it would dry out so fast so i heard about this thing it's called a click and grow basically you can just grow herbs in your kitchen it's self-watering i'm pretty sure it has a light and you can buy different kind of pods so i bought cilantro peppermint i don't know if like that's different than just regular mint or what but whatever and then i think this one comes with basil and other ones you can get are like really random ones like mini tomatoes parsley wild strawberry green lettuce po polka dot plant purple chili wow i didn't get it from the actual website so i didn't see all those options i purchased it on amazon so they did have like a good amount of options but anyways basically i wanted to get this because i'm so sick of like buying a bunch at the grocery store and me using it for like one thing or forgetting to use it and it goes bad so quickly so i figured if it was actually just like a plant i can pick from it whenever i wanted to um so let's set it up i'm so excited about it i wonder how long it'll take to actually grow though okay here it is it has like the charger and like the little light to label it but for reference if i forget this is going to be cilantro the first one at the edge of the lamp so put the soil thing in click this in put it back in here and then put the dome back on it says the domes create a greenhouse effect look at it my first little baby plants in there okay i think that's it so I just have to fill the tank and then plug the garden in. These things don't feel like great quality to be honest. Like it's way more plasticky than I would have thought it would be. But. Okay, so that was peppermint. Peppermint's going to be in the middle. Lastly, we're gonna do basil. Took kind of a lot of water. Now it's time to plug it in. I always hide shit in that corner of my kitchen, which honestly is the reason why I loved this apartment so much because <laughs> I knew it was going to be like that. Um, I kind of want to put it back there though. So it's like not like all up in my kitchen. I'm just scared if I put it on my windowsill again, it's not going to work because it's too freaking sunny here, which honestly I'm not complaining because I know I'm going to get seasonal depression very soon. No. I'll update you guys when I see the first sprout. Nothing humbles me more than what I wear to my photography shoots. I don't love the fit, but it's okay because we're just going to get sweaty and like we're not in the photos, so that's okay. My clients are changing, but the photos are so good. Um, but I also forgot my bug spray at home. Luckily, I told my client to bring bug spray and she actually did. So I sprayed some, but I'm still getting eaten alive. <laughs> It's so grassy and like greenery everywhere that they're just loving it here. They're loving eat, eating my blood. I don't even know what bugs do, but like, oh, not, not the best feeling. But the 
photos are good, so it's worth it at least. This is what it looks like. The greens are green. It looks so good. The sun flare is coming through over there. There, right there. And then this is the restaurant, also super cute. If this is a dream, then don't wake me up from this beautiful, wonderful thing they call love. Just got home and literally immediately ran to my Benadryl spray. I like, it's bad guys. I got bitten so bad, um, but just took Sophie out and I was thinking maybe I'll just walk on the treadmill because it's 743 and I don't really have any TikToks to post for today, but I feel like it's a good time to post. So I feel like I should go on the treadmill and then edit stuff while I walk. I'm also dehydrated because I feel like whenever I'm at shoots, I talk so fast. I'm trying to get all of my words out. And then I have like cotton mouth because my mouth gets so dry because I'm like talking so fast. Mm. So anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to work out because I like want to wash my hair. I don't know if I should just wait till tomorrow now or what. I think I might do that. And with our workout, I literally was like editing content the whole time. Um, and I think I was on there for like 65 minutes. Remember I am on the treadmill. I try to have like some sort of goal, whether it's like miles or calories or time. So today it was at least burned 500 calories and I did it. So now it is time to take a shower. I decided like I should work out tomorrow. So since it's night, I think I just will keep the bun in and hope that it stays through my sleep. That kind of is gross, but it's okay. It's not like itchy or anything. It was just kind of greasy. And for photos today, I thought I would try it out. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a body shower, but my makeup, I did it so early this morning. I woke up at like six something, or maybe it was six. Anyways, I did my makeup so early and look, it still looks good. I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Foundation. One of my favorites ever, so good. Morning, happy Tuesday. We started off the morning with a walk on Ladybird Lake Trail. I feel like I just wanted to get up and get out of the house and like have a reason to um, and also get in a workout before my shoot that I'm about to head to. Um, this shoot is going to be like a cake smash. I'm that type of person that like if I don't work out in the morning it usually doesn't happen. Like yesterday was very rare for me to have the energy to work out at night um but i'm glad i did because this morning i felt like really good um but yeah i just want to like keep going and honestly stay consistent i'm already getting a little bit worried about ryan coming back because i know us and i know we're gonna want to eat at all our favorite places because i feel like i'm a sentimental person where even like Starbucks like I have not had Starbucks without him because I feel like Starbucks is like our thing um <laughs> which is so stupid to say because Starbucks is very basic but uh, literally we used to go there every single day of quarantine <laughs> it was so bad um but anyways I also just don't love to eat in restaurants alone and I would rather cook at home than actually get stuff and like pick stuff up I don't love doing delivery things I only get Uber Eats like very very rarely um so if i do like take it to go i always go to pick it up and then that's like something that really deters me from ordering out which is a good thing i guess um but literally that what five minute duration of that anxiousness when you're just like picking it up i hate that i hate that so much so i just rather find something in the house um and i also have like a packed fridge and honestly today i need to clean it out because i'm just like what the heck is in here like there's only one person living in this house. How does a fridge get this packed? I have no idea. But I'm about to head to my shoot. It's about 30 minutes away, so I'm going to find a podcast to listen to 
and head up there. It's 4 p.m., wash my hair, and this whole day I've been just trying to collect um, photos for my new photography website and just kind of work on prepping for that. My designer actually sent over like some fonts and colors and everything like that. It already looks so, so good. So I'm really, really excited about it. Um, but I know it's gonna be like a lot of work because I'm not the best writer. And when you make a website, especially like an informational website, like a photography website, there is a lot of copy that goes into it. And every other website I've read is very witty and like very cutesy. I have no idea how to write like that. So. It's gonna take me a while. <laughs> I was thinking about like outsourcing the writing. I think I'll just try it and see how long it actually takes me. And if it comes down to it, I'll outsource it. But I'm not really sure how many girls are coming over tonight for Bachelorette. Every Tuesday, well, every Monday it's supposed to be, but it's been weird and now it's on a Tuesday now. Um, I usually host my friends here and Sometimes we'll do like snacks and sometimes I'll do like little snacks like I think last time I made like pizzas and everyone just took a little bit um, And I really wanted to make olive oil cake. It's been on my bucket list for a while now But I don't want to be stuck with like a whole cake if like not that many girls show up So I might just wait till the finale which is next Tuesday and Ryan's actually coming next Tuesday. I cannot believe it's already like here. And that kind of stresses me out because I told myself I really wanted to go through a lot of stuff and like organize and just like declutter a little bit, maybe get rid of some things, even like in the kitchen. I just feel like every little drawer or cabinet is like overflowing. I need some sort of system to keep me like really organized. Um, currently the guest bathroom is a mess and if my friends come over, that's not gonna be fun. <laughs> so I actually have to clean that right now. But anyways, I am not going to make the olive oil cake. I was gonna go to HEB and pick up some chicken because I'm really craving like chicken bowls or something. I don't know if any of you have ever been to Fresh Kitchen in Florida, but something in me is craving the creamy white ginger sauce and just like the mushrooms and sweet potato noodles and my steak and my ahi tuna. Oh my God, I used to get it all. It was so good. And I cannot find a copycat recipe for that creamy white ginger sauce, which is crazy because I feel like it's been popular for a while now. And I feel like for popular chains, people try to make like copycat recipes. So I was really hoping something was out there on the internet. Um, but I was like, I still have the salmon that I froze. So I'm just gonna do the salmon. And I have like a bunch of greens that I bought last week that I never touched. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't need to go to the grocery store. I should eat what's already in my house. I was um, going to go get some wrapping paper too, and I just found some, so I am very happy about that. I also don't know where or if I have tape, so that might be an issue, but we'll, I swear, I have everything, I just need to find it. <laughs> also last week, I got an email notification that I got the companion pass for my Southwest credit card, and you know a lot of people would be super super excited about this but i just feel as though it's not the right time for me to have it because ryan's not even here living with me i'm like i'm not gonna be able to take advantage of this and i'm so bummed out about it but like also my immediate thought when i saw that email was like oh my god now i have to like travel and like you know use it up and like make sure it goes to good use but like honestly i have really realized this year that I don't think I love traveling as much as I thought I did. I think I like the idea of it, but I don't really love to be away from home, out of my routine, living out of a suitcase. I mean, I'm grateful to be able to travel, but you know, I do like to be at home <laughs> um, or just like at least in this area. Also, that just means like I'll probably be spending more money if I'm traveling. So let's say Ryan lives with me and we decide to like travel crazy bunch all over the United States so that we can, you know, get good use out of this companion pass. It's only saving money on like his flight. So basically what a companion pass is, is I buy my flight and then if he's like flying with me, his flight is completely free. I think he just only has to pay like taxes, which is like what, $11 or something like that. So it's basically free. That's the only thing you're saving money on because then when you get to the destination, you have to pay for an Airbnb or a hotel or a rental car and like all of these travel expenses. So it really just makes you like have to spend more money. So I don't know, at least I didn't like 
well, I did technically pay for it because I was using my credit card, but like, it's not like I purchased it, you know? Not like I got like a Disney pass and I purchased it and I'm not using it and like I'm wasting my money, if that makes sense. But anyways, I guess I'm just rambling about it, but I got it, so that's kind of cool. Um, so we're gonna go to New York after Thanksgiving. We can use it then, cause I'll be home so we can like fly from Atlanta to New York. And then I'm thinking about flying with Ryan from New York to Austin and then back to Atlanta for Christmas. Um, so we'll use it then. And like, he's gonna be back next year. So like I have it till, when did I get it? Maybe September, October. I can't remember when I got the email notification, but I have it till next year. So like, I just hope there's like random weddings that we have to go to or something like that, you know, where I'm like, oh, I have a companion pass. So, you know, I don't even have to worry about it. Cleaned up the bathroom and I made myself dinner. I realized some of the mozzarella balls that I got, like, I don't even know how long ago, but I realized that they expired today. Good thing I checked. Um, but I have mozzarella balls, well, tomatoes, avocado, and some salmon. So I think I'm gonna do like a balsamic glaze, but my friends are gonna come over in the next like hour or so. And then we get to watch The Bachelor, but there's two more episodes of The Bachelor. It sucks that we have to wait till next week, especially cause it's probably like the juiciest episode. And I'm sad because Claim to Fame is over and that was like the show after The Bachelorette and it was so good. And I think I told you guys in the last vlog, but if you guys have not watched it, I think you can stream it on Hulu. Speaking of streaming platforms, I'm hearing that every show is going to Peacock. I'm like, how many more streaming platforms are we going to have? Like, I do not understand. But, like, you know I'm gonna get it. And he's uh, opening up her present. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. <gasps> do you oh, know what they are? Yes, of course I do. The Vala? <laughs> yes. Wait, you I don't have them, right? No! Okay. <laughs> I, I've actually been wanting them. Hell yeah. You're so sweet. Yes. Here. They're awesome. And you have them? Yeah, I have the two pounders like that, and I was kind of mad, though, because I got them when the this color wasn't out like i got them like early in the early days so. obsessed wait They're we can crazy. wear these on our walks no, I was, I was, that's what i was thinking <laughs> i love it yay, yay thank and you okay who wants some yes please okay anyone else i'm good without it yes. maddie i'm good yes, please. um wait where's your trash can behind you um, Hello, it is Wednesday and it is around two-ish, I think. This morning I was just doing some admin work. I'm about to head out to Soho House because I am doing some in-person planning for my Sunday Riley event. I feel like I mentioned this in one vlog or maybe I didn't, I can't really remember. But basically I got really close with the girls from Olive and June and they actually moved over to Sunday Riley within the past year. Sadly one of the main girls moved to San Antonio but another one of the girls is still here. And her name is G and she came up with the idea of having this like cute little dinner party with Sunday Riley and I was so honored and so excited. I was like, are you, like, are you sure you want me? Like literally when I got the email, because I check my email like kind of very often throughout the day. I got the email and I swear I replied back like in one minute. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like, let's do it. It's coming up a lot sooner than <laughs> we like thought or I don't even know. Like, I feel like it's kind of getting really close to the event, which is making me very, very nervous. So we're meeting in person today to talk about florals and just like logistics and to make like the actual evite. Um, but yeah, so very exciting stuff. I'll try to show you guys what we come up with if we can, because in Soho House, you're not allowed to like take pictures or videos. Um, so if I can, I will. But first we need to change out of our sweat, so let's do it. Okay, here's the fit. I kind of wanted to wear this green button down over top, but I feel like the colors are like looking a little funky. So maybe I should just do a white button down. But I gotta pack my computer bag and then leave.
Um, I really like this background, but like not with this card, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot, yeah. Mm, I didn't realize these are backgrounds, actually. I know. So maybe we just do I one. feel like I was or, gonna say. That one was cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, stickers. It is five o'clock. I just got out of Soho House and we had such a productive meeting. It's gonna be literally epic. Like, it's the dinner party of my dreams. I can't even wait to see everything like come to life because I I don't know how to make decisions. So I was like, honestly, like whatever you think for flowers. I pretty much just gave like some inspo pics and just said like, yeah, like pinks, oranges. But it was honestly really hard to make decisions. So it was nice to have G there just to like have her bounce off her ideas. But it was also so fun hanging out with her because she was just the best energy. But it definitely made me feel a lot more calm about the event happening so soon. And we made the e-bite and it looked so cute. I think I um, filmed it for you guys on my iPhone. You can't really like film in Soho House. So I was scared that somebody was gonna come say something but now i'm gonna go home i'm going to text out the evite link to all of the guests and i don't know what else oh i need to like film some tiktoks or something i go in these phases of like being really really into tiktoks and like filming so much and like posting so much and then these weeks where i'm not as active which sucks like i want to be but it's like I'm busy with other stuff. I can't really film and like there are trends where you don't always have to like film But then it kind of takes time to like pull photos or like look for the videos that like match that trend. Does that make sense? so TikTok is like very time-consuming and I feel like a lot of people don't really realize that unless you're those TikTokers that just like talk to the phone which I definitely want to become because I feel like that is how like you build a community of just like people actually getting to know you and I want to do that more i think i'm gonna do a tiktok in the car actually now anyways random thoughts for this wednesday afternoon is it wednesday oh my god tomorrow is thursday guys i'm getting my real veneers my final veneers i have my temps in and i know last week's vlog i told you guys within the first 30 seconds that i was getting my finals but i ended up having to reschedule to this thursday it honestly worked out perfectly because i had an event last thursday that i am so glad i wasn't swollen for and i didn't have to miss um but yeah tomorrow's the day i get my finals and i think they're gonna look a lot different so very 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 excited and also nervous to see i need to put a reminder on my phone to unthaw my salmon when I get home because I think I'm just gonna have the same dinner. I'm very proud of myself for like actually eating which is just in my house and not getting like takeout or not going to the grocery store. Honestly, like my biggest thing is going to the grocery store and buying things I don't need. Like I'm not an Uber Eats girl. I think I told you guys this in the beginning of the week, but I'm not a really big delivery food person, but one thing I will do is go into a grocery store and buy everything that I don't need and then I just am like, wow, mangoes sound really good. I'll just buy them and never touch them. It's actually, I literally have mangoes in my fridge that I need to eat, so maybe I'll do that tonight. But I just feel like my eyes are way bigger than my stomach when I walk into a grocery store and I just love going through the aisles. I feel like it's very therapeutic for me. Hello. Hello, Sophie. <laughs> Guys, these are my favorite moments when I come home and she's like half asleep. <laughs> she's so cute. Hello. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go eat. I just took Sophie on a walk because I was on my phone for so long and I was just like, I need to be outside while it's sunny and just like, you know, get up, get some exercise, get off my phone. Um, so I did that, then I just popped some salmon in the air fryer. Um, it's my last piece of salmon. So then I maybe have a reason to go to the grocery store tomorrow to get more protein. Um, so I'm very proud of myself, but I am wanting something sweet, but I also need to be like hydrated because I feel like a headache is coming on. So I want to try out this HEB peach iced tea. It's like a little packet, like a little self-serve packet. So let's do it. Smells really good. Please test. 
I kind of was hoping it would be a little bit more sweet, but honestly, I feel like it's good enough. Especially, it, I think one packet is like five calories. It adds a little something something to your water. Kind of craving sushi. When am I not always, but I decided to just try to make the salmon into like a sushi kind of dish. So we got a roasted seaweed here. I'm just going to lay these out and then we're going to make mini sushi salmon tacos with all my sushi sauces. If you guys are new here, I feel like I put these sauces in every dish I make at home. We have eel sauce, yuzu extract, spicy mayo. And then we have cream cheese, and I was thinking of putting like a little avocado. I already sliced that up. It's like, I feel like that will satisfy my sushi craving. But honestly, I was like so close to getting some Whole Foods sushi because I've been wanting to try it out. The last time I went to Whole Foods, which was kind of a while ago, I was looking at their sushi and I was like, wow, this looks like the best grocery store sushi I've seen anywhere, honestly. Like HEBs isn't horrible, but I don't know, their, their sushi looks so fresh. So maybe I'll try it this weekend. But for now, we gotta finish the salmon. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of salmon. And then gotta get the cream cheese in there. Maybe we can put a slice of avocado. Okay, I actually have a really good feeling about this. Like this already looks so good. All right, let's try it out. It's gonna be a big one bite. I think it's like pretty close to having like raw sushi in there. Cause I did the same exact thing with like actual, I'm pretty sure it was salmon or tuna, like fish, like raw fish. Sushi great fish, that's what I'm trying to say. It tastes pretty, pretty close. Um, but I'm about to put on something on Netflix I feel like I should edit tonight, but I kind of just want to like chill since I've been on my phone this whole time posting TikToks and I also feel like I should be posting TikToks now because I feel like TikToks just do way better late at night, so I might do that. Good morning. Today's the day I get my final veneers, so see you in our temps. Um, these are not like the most comfortable things and I've had it for about a month now, so I'm so excited to say goodbye and get them the frick off my teeth and get like my real final veneer so today's gonna be a good day um but my skin is feeling a little funky i think i'm getting my period soon so that makes sense but i was thinking i could like do a little icing on my face and well not like cake icing but um let me show you guys had to literally go into the depths of my freezer to get this but I went to a Charlotte Tilbury event um, a while back and they gave us a goodie bag and this thing was in it and it's literally like a face icer. So like taking, well not ice rolling because it's not rolling anything, but like taking icing to the next level. Oh my God. Well, this is a little bit creepy. Hmm. Ooh, wait, there's like these little metal things too. Wow. Okay, so basically, let me just unvelcro this part too. It's gonna feel so good. It already does. All right, ball growing at the back. I just really need this to be iced because my issue is right here and like right here. This is super creepy, but honestly, it already feels so good. And I love to take like an ice cube to any irritated like patches of skin, especially if you feel like a little pus pimple coming up. I just feel like ice definitely helps like the swelling of it all. So. This is like literally perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go work on my computer for a little bit. Um, I was gonna get ready and then do that, but I wanna, you know, make sure my skin and the foundation is good. Just had breakfast, I had a Kodiak frozen waffle and it was actually so good. I think that might be my new breakfast fixation or like that and my scrambled eggs. <laughs> um, but I ate that and then half of an avocado, so like I got the sweet and salty that I love. Um, but I think I'm gonna take this time to work outside and like edit outside because I feel like when I'm editing If I'm distracted one bit like I just get so thrown off and I want to like knock it out Because I think I have like 50 minutes of footage to edit and I Still need to get ready my appointments at once. So I should probably leave here latest like 12 
35. I just like getting places early, like it's really not that far, but I'm gonna try to be there early, <laughs> not be rushed. Just did my makeup and hair because I always have to be camera ready when I walk into the office because I film a lot. He literally has like almost 3 million followers on TikTok. So they're always filming like content over there. And I remember one time I came without makeup and they're like, oh, can we film you? And I was just like, uh-huh. <laughs> so it's okay, but it's always better if I have a little, little something on, you know? Um, but I made a good dent in editing. And so I feel kind of good about that. I mean, I wish I could have finished it, but honestly, I also wish I had more time to like film some TikToks and um, for my video because I want to do like a full veneers video um, and obviously most of it I want it to be in my finals but I'm going to do like a quick video about my temps and everything. saw it on the little mannequin teeth thing I was like oh my god that is even better than the inspo I showed you guys <laughs> so I'm really excited to see it when my mouth is so numb but my nose is numb and I don't know if it's running like I feel like it's running but I'm not sure I think I'm just gonna chill on the couch the rest of the day maybe take a nap because my teeth are feeling a little bit sensitive nothing's hurting that much um because we didn't whiten my bottom teeth this time and when i got the temporaries we did whiten the bottom teeth and that's really what made me go insane was the zingers that i got so at least i don't have that this time but i wonder how long this numbness is gonna last because i'm kind of getting hungry but i also don't really want to eat while i'm numb so i'll keep you guys updated i'm literally feeling the numbness wearing off so we're close guys it is currently 6 44 um right when i got home i went to say hi to sophie in the bed because she was laying there and i just started laying there and next thing you know i literally woke up from a nap and i was like what the heck <laughs> it was so weird um so i passed out right when i got home i feel like so congested right now i've been sneezing a little bit and i just feel like well i think i said my nose was like running or I couldn't tell if my nose was running. I just took it in Allegra just to make sure because I am going for a walk with my friend. I'm glad I'm just getting out of the house because I didn't want to be in the house for like the whole day. I guess I wasn't. I literally went to the dentist. But um, anyways, it is 6.45 and I told her I would meet her at 7. So let's go. not numb but I think my gums are a little bit sore I don't really want to like look too much because I feel like I want my full reaction to be when I have makeup on this morning I woke up early because I'm headed off to a shoot in the city I'm shooting the same vlogger I did on Friday and then I'm gonna meet up with one of my friends for um, chai after but I think she has a call like when we were going to meet up so we pushed it to later which is totally fine because i think i have some returns to make and i was thinking of getting medicine because what the frick is wrong with me i like right when the numbing wore off i started having the craziest sneeze attack and like i like my nose was running it was the weirdest thing well yesterday it was more of like the sneezing it sucks when you like feel like you have to sneeze but then it doesn't come out so that started on the trail yesterday and then when i got home my nose was like so runny it couldn't stop 
I tried to take like allergy medicine. It didn't really, oh, I took that before we went on the walk. So it started before we went on the walk. So I took allergy medicine, that didn't help, but I just popped another one. Um, and I have no idea what it was. I literally looked up like, does the laughing gas make you want to sneeze? Question mark. Like I'm just so confused, but I'll keep you guys updated. I just took like a different allergy medicine, like an off-brand Claritin. So I'm really, really hoping it's going to work. It is 9.20, we got done with our shoot, and these photos, like, I feel like every time I shoot with Bejewel, the photos every time, they just keep getting better, because I feel like we just know what each other needs and wants. For me, I get her angles, and she gets, like, the way I pose her, so they just, they just come out better every time. I'll try to put some pictures on the screen, um, but I am currently just, like, editing a video I took of her in the Teza app. I don't really use this app like that much and I pay for it so like I do want to use it more. They have so many features like this app is like really cool. They just added like a photo booth um, filter kind of thing. Kind of like that Bryant photo booth filter. I don't know if you guys have seen it but it's kind of trendy on TikTok. Um, and the only thing about this app is that it's so freaking slow when it like exports a video because basically I just use it to put filters on my videos if I feel like it, which is not very often, but sometimes I just want to like brighten up the video, especially if it's like a TikTok like aesthetic one or just add some more color to it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna post this on my photography account because I feel like I always forget to post the videos I take and now I'm like actually remembering to take the videos so I can make them into reels. Um, so anyways, I just want to be more active on that account, but I feel like I've been saying that for a while, but I feel like I have been really good about it this week. I think I posted like almost every single day. I have a little chai date with my friend Hannah at 9.30. I just pulled up into Better Half's parking lot and I love their chai here. It is so good. Yesterday, wait, it wasn't yesterday. This week has been going by so fast. It's actually kind of scary. Um, but when I went to Soho House, we got a chai and G got like a vanilla latte or something and we tasted it and like we weren't gonna say anything but I um asked the like waiter I was like hey it, it, is it like sweet like does it usually come sweet because I like my things like really sweet usually and um I was like maybe it's all at the bottom like would you mind giving me a straw so I can stir it and see and then like G was like yeah I don't think there's any vanilla in here like <laughs> this is like literally just straight up milk so anyways I thought that was funny but I'm gonna post this and then head in to better half. It is currently 11.42 and I just got so stressed out because um, I think we're gonna actually go out out tonight again. <laughs> I was telling my friends, I'm like, I've been out every single weekend, most of the time, multiple times per weekend. And you know what? I'm not mad about it because this is what kind of what I wanted. Like, I just wanted to have fun with my girlfriend and not have to choose between my girlfriends and my boyfriend. But I mean, if there was something going on with my girlfriends, I mm, pretty much never picked Ryan over it because I feel like Ryan has stuff to do that he likes to do like golf and stuff so he can like occupy himself so in that way I'm not like super clingy to him but I feel like pretty much all my friends have boyfriends so they understand how it's just easier to hang out with like your boyfriend and just like more chill and you don't have to like plan things and so I get it but anyways pretty much what I'm saying is that I've been going out so much and I kind of like I'm loving it but I feel like I'm getting a little sick of it just because I feel like we're going to the same places we've been going to west a lot which we were pretty like sick of for a while rainy street is like what makes Austin super iconic but everything's getting shut down because they're building like high rises and you know condos and everything like that so it's really sad I swear every month one of our favorite bars gets demolished. First it was Bungalow, now it's Reina. That just like literally closed this past weekend. So it's very sad. So we haven't really been going to Rainy um, 
but honestly I kind of want to a couple more times before it's literally so dead um and yeah it's just so sad because I feel like that's definitely what well one of the things that makes Austin stand out but we also like going to East 6th um and that's always really fun but I think we're gonna go to West again <laughs> I had my friend's birthday dinner tonight so we celebrated her last weekend we went out last weekend and did like that paper bag roulette i'm literally going to edit that vlog right now but now we're doing like a little birthday dinner and we're going to eberly which honestly has been on my bucket list since i moved here i have never been inside but i've seen pictures and it's stunning so i'm hoping we get some good pictures tonight um and anyways basically why i'm stressed is we decided to go out and i feel like if i'm gone from like six to like midnight or one I definitely want to make sure this little one is okay so now i have to make time to like you know play ball with her beforehand make sure she's like tired maybe we'll just go on a walk because i feel like walks are beneficial for me and they make sophie tired but yeah we'll see we'll see about that um also my nails are very chipped and i'm not one to have chipped nails so we're gonna do my nails really quick while i edit the vlog um and then what else is on my list to do today i feel like there's so many like little random things i think i want to go to heb and get some medicine like real claritin because i took two of those like knockoff claritin things also my friend hannah said that the pollen is at its highest right now which is so weird i'm like it's not even spring like i, I don't even really i i don't know why i just associate pollen with spring but it's like what the heck that is very interesting but that makes me feel better so it's just allergies but the allergy medicine needs to like step it up so i think i'm literally gonna go to the store and get extra strength because this is not fun i feel like i need to sneeze every five seconds and not the size of my nose it's getting red and irritated um oh i just remembered i need to upload Beagle's photos and send them over to her. I do blogger packages and they're a bit different um, than my normal packages because, you know, usually bloggers like to edit their own photos with their own presets. So I have a little package for that specifically. I have my natural nails. I really want to wait until my Sunday Riley event to get them like done done like gel. So I'm just gonna do like a random color I found. I actually have like a shitload of nail polishes because during quarantine, I was obsessed with painting my own nails like just regular nail polish. So I think I'm gonna go with this pale pink color. It is the, oh, Beyond the Pale Pink from OPI. So hopefully it looks good. Um, but I got really, really good at painting my own nails during quarantine and my nails were like so strong and beautiful. So I'm trying to get back to that. Because Gel X really did fuck them up. I'm so mad. I mean, Gel X is beautiful. Like, literally, my nails never looked better when I did Gel X. But, you know, my nails, like, they drilled at them so hard that it actually hurt, like, just touching my nails. Like, the lightest touch would be the weirdest feeling, and I did not like it because they were so thin at that point. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I would do gel X again. So now I'm really trying to just grow them out by itself. Um, I used to do dip and I can't remember if those like really ruined your nails as much. It is three o'clock. I literally just finished editing my vlog, but I haven't even like touched the thumbnail or anything. So still got some work to do, but I am going to go take Sophie on like a little walk or well, her ball just broke. So I literally just ordered new like extra small balls on Amazon. The dinner reservation is at 6 p.m. and I should probably get ready, be ready by 5.30. And I also have to go pick up my package um, downstairs for the Fashion Pass stuff because it delivered just in time. So I'm very excited about that. I'll get it on the way up, but I'm gonna take this whiny little dog outside. Sophia's pooped. That is such good news. She's like panting. I'm telling her to go drink water, but she won't listen. <laughs> um, but my fashion pass got here just in time. I see that my vlog just exported. Perfect. Um, and really hoping this dress fits for tonight. Little orange moment. Okay, so we have a problem. This is like not wide enough. It's like so weird. It's showing a little too much. So sad. And the back of this drawstring, 
I feel like there's barely any material to like tie an actual bow. So unfortunately, this is a no. And I think this one was like 200 something dollars. It feels like something you would get off of no shade, Shein. That blows my mind. Why is it that when I just cleaned my apartment, it gets so messy so fast, but I realized that my Princess Polly package actually just got in and I wanted to see what this looks like because this is what I was most excited for. <laughs> Their sweatshirts are so cute. This one says nudes. Oh my God, I love it. It's very like vibrant. I feel like I didn't think it was that vibrant. Oh, and then the front says said nudes. That's really freaking cute. Can't wait to get my orange makeup all over it to match the orange font. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just had a whole debacle with myself because I could not figure out what to wear. First, I was going for this. Then I FaceTimed my friend and she said my jeans needed to be like tighter on my legs, which yeah, those Zara jeans are very baggy, but like I like the look. It's kind of like a Hailey Bieber look. But honestly, I feel like I get a lot of clothes that are a little bit bigger on me. You know, I don't know like where I am in between sizes or what is going on. But I mean, those were like my size. Then I tried on this outfit because um, the top was fashion pass and I wanted to like get my use out of it. And then I landed on this. And this top is also fashion pass, so I'm glad I'm at least using this. Then I'm wearing some Abercrombie jeans, and then I had some shoes on. I just took them off because I have about 20 more minutes until my friend picks me up. So I'm going to try to clean up. Wait, actually, no. I want to take like a selfie with my teeth because I didn't even post on stories yet. These shoes were literally in my Princess Polly package, but I'm a little nervous that my feet are gonna hurt since it's like the first time wearing these shoes but I literally just sprayed lidocaine on my feet I saw these influencers at New York Fashion Week spray this stuff on their feet to make their feet numb so I don't know how long it lasts because I feel like it would have been nice if I could like fit it in my purse but it's kind of like a chunky can so hopefully this shit works that would be so nice because then I can like wear heels like I've always wanted to. I have this one aunt that's super short and when I was growing up, she would always wear heels, like to any event. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna be her when I grow up. I grew up and I'm like, wow, that is so uncomfortable. Like how the hell did she do it? No clue, but I'm so excited to go to Everly. You guys are gonna die when you see the inside of this place. I literally almost walked out with just the purse and nothing in it. That would've been so bad. I just realized that I didn't switch over all my stuff. I also need to moisturize. Oh shoot. <laughs> gonna take some work to rub in. I love to look like moisturized and shiny when I go out. Can't be ashy out there, you know. Then after everything's on, I like to use the dib stick in rose goals. I didn't know it was the rose gold one, but I like to put it on my shoulders and the collarbone. Oh, that was like kind of off. And then just take your hand and rub it in. It gives you like a really pretty shine. I just want to sparkle the whole night. <laughs> okay. And just make sure you wash your hands because I'm wearing white and I don't want all the sparkle on me.